we are at the southwest corner of the parcel. There's the vehicles, it's the sidewalk. So from the southeast corner of the parcel, we're going to pan east and look at the mound of peat over there. So that mound was created when they leveled this lot. So for starters, we're going to take a walk along the west edge of the parcel, which is pretty straightforward. We basically have standard issue sidewalk, some fill to dirt to the right, which is appears to be a mix of peat and you know, perhaps another kind of fill material. Don't know exactly what. This is the northwest corner of the property line. From here, we can take a look across the parcel to see the building lot. The property line goes from this stake uh, straight back along to where you see the stake in the distance, uh, right above the blue hose. That's the other corner. This string, the purple string that goes uh, west, I mean goes due east, that is 11 feet in from that edge. And the yellow string is 20 feet back from the sidewalk. So that is the setback, the 20 foot setback as required. So we're going to go ahead and walk the property line. So the property line goes along here. And again, this uh, one to the right is just the uh, 11 foot setback from the property line. And this area is currently is next to ours, which is currently being excavated. You can see they're using recycled concrete. And they have a sump pump, which is pumping out the water that would otherwise accumulate. And the back side here, there is about 10 feet of uh, peat, below which there is clay, and they've dug down to the bottom of that, and they are currently pumping water out of it until they can finish the backfill process. And here is the current mountain of peat, and the purple line is the 11-foot setback from the edge of the parcel, which is an arbitrary line of where we can build to. But and this is along the eastern edge of the existing building pad. So you can see that there is a pad here, which is the original location that they're planning to build the house, um, but it does not take advantage of all of the footprint which we could build on. And if we're to take advantage of the property, which mainly lies east to west, having a slightly wider uh, piece of dirt to build on would make it possible to take advantage of the sun a lot better. This purple line here, we are now walking on the peat. This is another mountain of peat. That sign is the corner of the buildable land. Um, What you see here is we are standing on the mound of peat fill. That is the edge of the existing building pad. This purple line is 34 feet uh, east from the uh, easternmost uh, property edge. So this is the edge of what is technically buildable from a setback perspective. The actual corner of the property is back there. Inside that shrub, there is a post. Likewise, the northeast corner, you can see that post, is the northeast corner of the property. So we'll go walk the property. So we're going to go to the northeast corner of the property. That's the northeast peg. We could swing left and look back toward the northwest corner of the property, which is right to the 
aft end of the Hitachi excavator and just in front of the van there. And now we're going to look down the eastern edge of the property line. We're going to walk down toward the eastern corner of the property. So I'm going to take a slight detour to keep from going through the mud bog with my shoes. And you can see this is where the water runs down in the wintertime. This is the southeast stake, southeast corner of the property. And we're going to look left again. Northeast corner of the property. This is all peat fill. That white angle board is the edge of the uh, setback for the building platform and then this purple line is the edge of the property so we're going to take a walk under it and walk this edge of the property so you can see here this whole pile of peat we would like to have integrated or brought up and treated the same as the building pad itself. So therein lies the challenge, is getting this pile of peat, which is all within the buildable footprint, to match the existing prepared building pad. So we are on the south edge of the property line. We're going to go ahead and walk back to where we started from. So this is the south edge of the prepared pad, building pad. It has some barium material. And then we're just going to walk this property line back to where we started. There we have it. That is the entire parcel. From, and you're currently looking at it from the southwest corner. So looking down the south property line, looking across the building pad, looking north to the north property line, now looking up the west property line. So, that is it.